What we'd like to talk about is what we call the PSGS management way, which is the way that we like to actually you know, manage money for our clients. And it's a process that's not pretty much encapsulated by the word stewardship. We want to act as the best possible custodians of our clients' assets. So before we invest in any security or we make any decision from a business perspective, we always ask the one simple question, is this in the best interest of our clients? We've got a simple framework that we will use to try and um, get the odds in our favour when we're doing that. The first is that we always want to think and act long term. When you think and act long term, often you can get the bigger picture view that allows you to make you know, decisions that are, you know, will be enduring over the longer term. The second is that we always want to be prudent in terms of how we deploy our clients' assets. What it means is that we want to be buying within a margin of safety. Thirdly, we've got an obsessive focus on research. We want to try and assess the underlying value of any security we're buying. And we want to buy with a large margin of safety in the range of outcomes around that. If we can get those three you know, parts right over the longer term, we think that we will get the odds in our, in our favour to generate you know, above average returns for our clients at below average risk. Our process is actually a very simple one. Uh, we've got to use a simple uh, framework um, in terms of uh, evaluating any decision. We call it our three M's, a modes, management, margin of safety. Effectively what we're trying to do is assess the underlying quality in any investment uh, that we're investing in or any security that we're interested in. Uh, the first is moats. The moat is a, a barrier around a business. We're trying to find businesses that have high barriers to entry, um, something special in, their, in, their, in their, the way that they've organised themselves, their competitive advantage, which um, allows them to generate superior returns over long periods of time. The second part is the, the management team, that's the second M. Managements act as custodians of our clients' capital. When, we, when clients put their money in our funds and we invest in companies on the stock exchange, we're effectively giving our clients money to the management teams of the companies we invest in. They have to act as stewards on behalf of our clients' assets, so we've got a very high bar in terms of how we evaluate the management teams. The third part is the margin of safety. So the first two factors are quality factors, trying to assess the underlying quality of a business. The third is the price that you'll pay for that underlying quality. So that's the margin of safety. What we're trying to do is assess the intrinsic value, what the business is worth, and then trying to buy it at a, at a large discount. Now, when we're going through this process, we're looking for an inherent quality in the business that the market might be missing. But what really gets us excited is when we can find above average quality at below average prices. And that's called a quality anomaly. And you typically can exploit those type of opportunities when quality goes on sale. And that's in times when there's fear, there's uncertainty, or there's just some misunderstanding around a particular business. And when we don't find opportunities, we sit in cash. Um, but it is a little bit more of a contrarian approach. Um, and we need to often, you know, when you're sitting in front of clients, we need to you know, let them understand that, that sometimes we're going to bet away from peers and benchmarks. And our portfolios can look quite different from peer groups. Uh, typically, we're buying when assets and securities go on sale.